Hyperlapse on the S23 Ultra, that starry night sky hyperlapse with the star trails and stuff. Is it any good? You guys have asked me to do it. I've done it. It's pretty good. It's got a major flaw though, and it's one that I didn't expect. Now to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a phone, obviously. You don't need an app. It's right there in the camera app. You're going to need a tripod. This here is the Explorer Pro Photo uh, video tripod. I absolutely love this thing. They do sponsor the channel, but uh, this thing here, it's the duck's nuts. I'll leave a link down the bottom as to where you can get one of these things. That's it. You don't need anything else. And everything else is right here. Nothing else. You don't even need a dark sky. You can do this stuff in, well, pretty light polluted area. The only thing you really need other than the physical tools is a little bit of nous. And here's the lay down. If you want to get a circular sort of star trail through the night sky, point south if you're in the southern hemisphere and point north if you're in the northern hemisphere. It's not rocket science. That's how you do it. If you don't want those circular ones and you want something that's a bit more linear, point to the east or west. That's it setting up for this video and it is a video it's really not rocket science here we're going to go into more on the camera app we're going to go to hyperlapse there it is down the bottom there and that's it up the top left hand corner top right hand corner you may be able to see it with the light that i've got going on here in the video you may not but up the top right hand corner is a little star with some trails behind it you must push that if you don't push that it's going to look like shit. across the other side here there's two things that we need to be mindful of here at the top left hand corner you got that 300 times you want it to be on that 300 times and outside that we've got the next one down from that is a timer and you've got increments there of 10 what have we got here 10 20 go back again 10 half an hour 30 two hours and three hours and if we go right to the top it's go down the bottom i should say it's going to infinitely loop and that's where the problem comes in. But you want to do this, if you're going to do this, you want to do it for a minimum of 60 minutes. So allow a long photo. That's it. I've done hour long, two hour long, and uh, infinite photos. I'll explain what that problem is in just a second. Once you've got it set up, and that's it, you just got to push that button to record, Bob's your uncle. Now, you don't have to have pristine skies like I have here. Like, we've got Bortle One skies here. It's incredibly dark. The stars are nice and bright. It just works for what I do on this channel here. But you don't have to be in a location like this. Star Trail Photography, and in this case, Hyperlapse Video, it's the astrophotographer's solution to a light polluted area. When people tell me I can't take the photos you're taking, I say go to Star Trails. That's where it's at. You may not get all the stars because the sky is not as dark, but you're going to get something. It's a nice foot into the astro realm, if you like. When would you use this? You'd use it really anywhere. You'd use it on a camping trip, things like that. And you're going to use it to help uh, show the story of what the night was like where you were. Um, but the problem that I'm having here, believe it or not, is the friggin' battery on this phone. The battery on the S23 Ultra is just bloody phenomenal. But this mode, this functionality, just chews through the juice like nothing else. There is nothing worse than trying to do an all night time lapse, in this case a hype lapse, same bloody thing, only to find out in the morning when you get up, say four or five hours later, go out and the phone on the tripod is off. Why is it off? Because the sucker's dead. It did save the video and I've still got the video and that's the one with the horse and stuff moving through the video and the cars going past. But that should have been probably another two hours long and that was a hundred percent battery using only this in airplane mode it's not searching for anything all it was doing was this hyperlapse and the friggin battery died that's a massive oversight in my opinion for how this works when i talk to app developers like murray atomic over there he does uh, even longer on the iphones and i can do an all-night star trail photo with that app and i can start it on a hundred percent uh, battery and in the morning when it's been shooting say a six or seven hour uh, star trail photo i'm still at like 92 93 percent that's pretty incredible and for this to have such a function on it that works as well as it does and it does work pretty well to have the battery there not backing it up this app is sucking some juice that hopefully it'll be fixing an update down the track a little bit hopefully there are ways around this obviously you can go and get yourself a uh, power bank plug it into the phone 
leave it there all night and it's going to do the job pretty well. It's just another bit of kit you've got to carry. It's going to give that bit of, you know, the oomph to the battery that's in this phone, which is already pretty bloody impressive, but it's not quite as good, or well, not, 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 not good enough to do this over three or four hours, I, I suppose. So, hey, if you're, in, if you're on uh, Facebook there, head over to Shane Moss for Mobile Photography Bloody Legends and take some of these videos post them on there, I'd love to see what other people are doing. I think it's a pretty bloody good function that's on this phone. It's nice to see that Samsung are putting some of these cool things into the phone camera app straight out of the box. Really good to see. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Catch you later.